Hi, it's Kina. Welcome to another pick a card video and thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. That is so awesome. Um, I've been on YouTube for about a month now and I'm really happy with how everything is going. Um, I'm so happy to see that the readings are resonating with you guys and that you're enjoying them and I really love to read your comments. It's so cool to learn about everybody and see how each reading can I guess relate to so many different people in different situations. It's just really cool and I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Um, anyway, yeah, so today we are going to look at um, a little bit the timeline um, leading to the manifestation of your dream or dreams. Feel free to pick more than one pile. You could even pick all of them for um, different things that you're wishing for if you want to do that. Um, and I want to introduce this guy to you. So this doll is called Daruma and he's from Japan. Um, this area, Gumma in Japan, is famous for making these dolls. Um, and basically, when you get one, you color in one eye. Um, I think which side you start from. It depends what you're wishing for. I don't really know. I might have done it wrong. But anyway, when you first get it, you fill in one eye, you make a wish. And then when the wish comes true, you fill in his second eye. So I thought he could be um, a little sign of good luck if you clicked on this video because he has two eyes and he's going to make sure that everybody's dreams come true. Um, this guy, he took about 12 years. So he was, um, he was winking at me for a very long time, but he's finally... He's finally seeing properly and he, he couldn't be happier. We love him. Okay. Um, that's enough talking. So, pile number one is going to be pink. These are just beads, by the way. They're not like crystals or anything, so you can just choose them by the color. Number two is yellow. Number three is white. And number four is green. Yay! Okay, so as always, feel free to pause the video if you need more time to decide, but I am going to go ahead and get started with the pink, number one. Okay, so first of all, number ones. The message that comes to me with pink is relax. You guys, it would, you would do well to relax a little bit. Um, I think that whatever you're wishing for, um, maybe for some of you, it has just felt like an uphill battle, you know, like you're working really, really hard and the output, the results that you're seeing, it's maybe not really matching up for the amount of effort that you've made or the amount of time that you've been working towards it or wishing for it. At first, I was thinking that maybe what a lot of you guys are wishing for is success, but I don't think it's necessarily that for all of you. I think it might just be recognition. So even if you've been working really hard for a long time and you've become successful, it just might be that now you want other people to recognize that and, and appreciate that. Um, maybe at the start, it was just something that you just wanted to prove to yourself that you could do it, that you would become successful, but now you kind of want other people to see it. Um, you know, because that is a whole other joy in itself, you know, to be applauded or congratulated or admired or appreciated. Um, so if this, if you're asking about something related to career, um, it might be that you've done a lot of your work, like the vast majority of your work, kind of behind the scenes, um, not getting all the credit necessarily for the work that you did, or in some bad cases, somebody else is taking the credit. Um, if this has to do with relationships, it could just be that you're a very giving person, you give a lot to the people in your life, and maybe they don't show you as much appreciation as you've wanted and the energy that I was feeling is that you're sort of starting to get a little antsy um, either for the current 
people in your life to recognize you or to find new people who are going to give you um, that treatment that you do deserve, you know? So anyway, um, you might feel that there's been some blockages in that and that it's been hard, but you just need to relax, I think, um, and let and let it flow naturally to you. Um, when we're talking about the manifestation of dreams, we talk about resistance a lot. I am no professional in this, but it would appear that the more we feel negatively about something and the more we focus on those roadblocks and what appears to be currently going wrong, we can sort of push our uh, manifestations further away and it actually takes more time. Um, however, for this pile, I don't feel that it's going to be like one specific thing that happens and you're like, okay, my dream has come true now. It does feel like more of an ongoing thing where it's going to start to get better and just keep getting better from there. So there's not really a definitive point. However, I do think that some good news regarding this dream or some like sign that a turning point is coming will happen to you by the end of this year perhaps like end of summer or around fall yeah okay let's let's look at the cards Ooh. all right so we have page of wands the tower and the page of swords so maybe it's time to take a new and fresh approach to things especially if you're asking about like your career or your craft or something. Um, I know when you've been doing something for a really long time, the prospect of starting over, it seems like you're going backwards, um, but sometimes it can actually start things to develop a lot faster. Um, I used to have another YouTube channel. It was not like tarot or anything, um, but it was like, I guess blogging or something like that? I don't really know. It was stupid. But anyway, it, it was growing really, really slowly over years and years and years and I wasn't feeling satisfied with it. I didn't feel like, I mean, I'm not going to say I deserved views, but <laughs> I didn't think it was growing very fast. And the idea of starting a new channel, I was like, oh my god, I really have to start from zero again. And the idea was not appealing at all. But for a lot of you, that might be the thing to do rather than rather than waiting on the current situation or waiting on the people to change, maybe find a new path to take or find new people. Um, the Page of Wands is all, also somebody who is not afraid to go in a new direction. They have, when they're in their highest um, evolved state, I guess, <laughs> um, they they're not afraid to do that and they also show um, courage and leadership and things like that and the Page of Swords is also somebody who has um, sort of new and, and fresh ideas um, and you know these represent fire and air so I see you know maybe try to find something that like sparks your curiosity again um, maybe you can find something that's in the same field that you're already doing, but just something that's a little bit different. You might have, you might start studying something new. I'm also hearing that. Um, and this is like a total upheaval of things. So maybe this is something that's going to happen by the end of the year and then things will gradually um, start growing from there. Um, let me see. Mm. If you're asking about relationships, I do think a new person is coming into your life. So it's going to be somebody that you don't know, someone you don't know yet. Um, they could very well be a fire sign or an air sign. And whether it's, um, a romantic partner, a friend, um, like a work associate, they're going to be somebody who gives you a totally new perspective and someone who's very easy to 
collaborate with so that it doesn't feel like you're making compromises like you're just on the same page you know and you're very excited to to start anew maybe somebody younger than you is going to be coming into your life and sort of refreshing your perspective on things um because the page the pages remind me of young people um so i want to get a little more Ooh, okay so look this is the ace of air brilliant new ideas and inspiration seeing the truth of a situation a challenging beginning um maybe the reason this kind of feels like an uphill battle what you've been doing up until now is because it wasn't really something that was meant for you and i don't think it's really wise to keep wishing wishing on this situation or wishing on this person um because some things just aren't gonna change and the sooner you um come to terms with letting go of everything you've done up until now um the better it will be for you. Um, for example, someone who's looking for recognition, if you've become really successful in a certain field and then you start somewhere else as a nobody, you're like, how am I going to get that recognition? But if it's something that you really love doing and you're surrounded by people who are collaborating with you and supporting you, you will grow faster and you might get that recognition or that validation faster. Um, the same way if you're in a romantic relationship and you're like, my partner is not showing me the love that they should be at this stage in our relationship. And the idea of starting to date someone else is like, oh my god, we're going to have to go through that whole dating and it's going to take such a long time. It might be faster for you to develop an even stronger connection with that new person because they're the right one. So maybe you've just been spending too much energy on the wrong things and that can be very, very, very draining. I trust me <laughs> um okay and then we have release and surrender we have um soul family can you see everything and then star mother and treasure island so yeah i'm definitely getting the feeling that the people you're dealing with right now like that's not it they're not the ones they're not your soul family and you need to find them um <clears throat> this could be all the people falling out <laughs> the old people falling out and then the new people coming in and it's kind of interesting like there's there's two dudes falling out of the tower and then you have two new dudes coming in like excuse you you need to you need to get the fuck out of the way because they're gonna see the amazing person that you are and they're gonna want you in their life it's not necessarily two people <laughs> it might be just one person or many people but it's kind of cool that there's two and that would be cool if it resonated for some of you guys yeah so once i'm gonna say that you'll get into the situation that you need to be in to start anew by the end of this year um and then in the years to come you'll start seeing that recognition that you want or you'll start getting that love that you want um yeah this is all about new ideas and inspirations um and you need to release and surrender let go of the old and let the new come in um, open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. Yes, definitely all of that stress and exhaustion that you might have been feeling, putting your energy into situations or people that weren't working for you, you need to let those go. And I see your dreams coming true really quickly like you know it could even be a matter of a couple months if you do this this to me this has come up in readings before that i've done and i do see it as blessings coming in he has little hearts and stars all around him so it's a very optimistic card and he's also floating to you so it's very it's very effortless 
Um, if I'm reading into it a lot, we can say that your, your blessings will last a really, really long time. They will be long term and um, have longevity to them. And I say that because sea turtles are really old. 150, dude. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, and yeah, how can you mother yourself? I think this card came up because it's not always... There is a dark period, okay? When you, when you let go of the old stuff, I don't think it's usually, I mean, it could be for some of you, but usually that new good thing doesn't come in right away. This is also something that I've experienced firsthand. And for a while, you might feel that sort of emptiness, like the hole where something used to be before the new good stuff comes in. And it's difficult. It's a time where you need to be alone and you need to be introspective and you need to reflect by yourself on how you want this next chapter to go and what exactly um, you want to come in your life. Um, and if you don't have a good relationship with yourself already, it can be a little bit hard. So that could be something that um, you want to start working on now. Um, it's cancer season. It's the time for self-care and introspection and meditation, all this good stuff. And I think it would be a really good idea to start visualizing, especially foremost, the feeling that you're gonna have when you get everything you want. Because there's this tower and things are gonna be totally different, it might be hard to like imagine exactly, exactly what's gonna happen. So focusing on that feeling, look at these cards, they have light, emanating from the center. They are like bathing in light. It would be really good to imagine feeling like this, you know, like you, you have everything you need inside you and the right situations will come, the right people will come to you and feel that power that you have because you do have a lot of power. It's not that you're powerless. It's just that your power has been channeled to the wrong places in the past, but this can be everything has a lesson in it, you know, <laughs> maybe I think a big lesson that you can take from this is how important your energy is and how important it is to protect it and give it to the right people. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. But yeah, these are all really beautiful cards. They all feel very uplifting. And I'm going to tell you guys to relax again because it's going to be okay. You are protected in this situation, and it's safe to let go. It is safe to let go. Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> I think I think that's it for, for number ones. Uh, please let me know what you thought of that. Oh, sorry. If it resonated or didn't, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like doing that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hi number twos! So, first of all, the energy of this pile is so promising. It feels really good. Um, it feels rejuvenating, okay? So even if you're already a young person, you're gonna feel more energy. And if you're sort of an older person, I don't know what that means, if you feel like you're an older person, you're going to feel younger. Like you're going to have so much energy um, in the coming, okay, so I feel it will be getting better and better and uh, It might seem like a long time, but like two-ish years from now It's gonna be like the peak where you're just doing your best um, It might it might be that you are looking at your dreams the same way that you did at the beginning so with that same sense of hope and like I can do anything um, and sort of feeling younger in that sense, like having the, um, the imagination of a child with your dreams, like anything is possible. Um, mm -mm -mm. and, <laughs> okay, so this is not something like, it's karmic, like, like you're owed something good 
because of karmic reasons and it's also not something like you manifested properly this is like you are a good person you're a good soul and you're very well liked and that's both here and and up there so you're just gonna have so many good things flowing to you i feel i feel so much peace for you whatever you are wishing for it's gonna be effortless and that's not to say that you're not going to work for it it's just that the work is going to be fun um even if it's challenging the challenge is going to be fun um and you very well might just be feeling on top of the world with this so yeah i'm getting that from now like right now until the next two years it's going to be a really good time for you in terms of manifesting your dreams um the best is coming the best is coming and you might be feeling now even a little bit anxious or antsy because like you can tell that the best is coming but you haven't seen it yet um and there is that uh what's it called time buffer with these things but it's already happening it's already happening and the best is coming um and a lot of you are gonna see some money some some big money <laughs> coming in uh that might be a little bit further along in the road you might not see that like flooding in right away but you know maybe for some of you it's going to be coming in pretty fast so so far the energy for this pile is very nice um all right let's see we have page of pentacles right when i was talking about money amazing um and we have the nine of cups and strength look at all the yellow in these and also your um it's, it's not a stone, it's a bead. <laughs> Your bead is yellow. Um, so, I mean, this is just so bright and happy to me. This is lovely. Um, you might be seeing something come in between like mid-August to mid-September, um, which is Leo season in the Eastern astrology, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Um, yeah, August, September looks really good um yep and this is a card of wishes being fulfilled so oh wow this is just this is just so nice look at look at their hats too they're stylish as hell <laughs> um yeah i think whatever you pursue at this time is going to be successful and if you pick this pile and you didn't even really have a specific dream in mind and you were just like when is shit gonna get good for me even even that i see all areas of your life um blossoming <laughs> um it's really nice i don't think that you're just gonna get it for nothing you are going to have to work for it and it is it is gonna start a little bit smaller and slower but you're going to be okay with that, you know? When you're doing something that you really love, you're not so concerned with the results. At least that's how I feel, you know? I don't know. But, like, if you were doing a job that you really, really loved and you're making, like, a modest amount of money versus a job that you hate and you're making, like, a little bit more money... I don't know, maybe I can't speak for everybody, but the point I'm trying to get across with this one is like, you love what you're doing so much that even if it grows slowly and even if it takes a little bit of work, it's going to be a pleasure for you, okay? That is what Kino is trying to tell you. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, yeah, wonderful. Wonderful. Um... Mm -mm -mm. I can see you doing a little bit more stuff on your own. Maybe you kind of feel like whatever you're doing, like you've gotten the hang of it and you kind of want to try doing something by yourself, you know, like kind of like Fergie or something like that. Just like solo career. Um, yeah. If you're single during this time, I feel like you're going to be feeling good about it. I don't feel like any sense of rushing or desperation, like you're very okay with what you have at this time. Um, oh, what, what is also kind of cool is we have the 8 and 9 here. Um, 
and I was talking about August and September which is the 8th month and the ninth month so something could be happening for you guys really really soon that's like in one or two months from now um and then it will keep getting better and better and better from there i don't see a lot of um, ups and downs um or any downfalls i do see it as like a steady going up perhaps even exponential um yeah so you could be meeting somebody in one to two months um, you could be starting a new project in one to two months, but it's something very inspiring and something that you know on a gut level that this was meant for you and almost like it was perfect for you. Like the job description just fits you perfectly or this person is, is everything you wanted and you're just each other's type so perfectly. Um, yeah. I think you guys should be excited. You should be very excited. Yeah. And start, okay, start, I'm getting like to start presenting yourself um, better. Not to say that you're not doing that, but you can, if you're confident now, you can afford to be a little bit more confident. You can start your stuff a little bit more if you want to. You can, you can go out there, be more talkative with people, act the part of um, whatever you want to be. Like dress for the job you want kind of stuff. You can, it's okay to have more confidence. If you're trying to be humble or modest in this time, you don't have to. You can let yourself shine. You can let yourself shine. And if anyone wants to say anything about it, they're they're just a hater, so don't worry about it. But I do feel that in this time, you're gonna be attracting a lot of friends into your life. Um, either new friends or the relationships with your existing friends are going to be getting better. Um, and you're gonna have people around you who support you. I don't really think you're gonna have anyone trying to bring you down, really. Because like I said, you're very well liked. Yeah, you should have all the confidence in the world. God damn. I'm like honored to be looking at this. <laughs> all right. So let's see. Ace of Earth. The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture. Important documents or contracts. <laughs> yeah, these kind of give me like similar energy, like pentacles and earth, of course. Um, and there is this sort of feeling of like, new ventures, money coming in, um, yeah, very nice. Um, if you start something new during this time that I said, like August, September-ish, like late summer, early fall, it's going to go well. It is definitely going to go well and people will believe in you. People will believe in your vision. Um, you have this sort of energy about you, like you you're very respected and people look up to you but it's not in an intimidating way it's in a very friendly way it's a very nice way to be it's like if like the popular person at school that you see in movies but if they were nice it's kind of like that like they deserve to be popular um okay what else do we have look then we have building blocks and laying foundations i think a lot of you might be starting a new project i'm gonna guess that if you chose this pile you might not necessarily be asking about love or like when is a romantic partner coming however if you are i'm going to say that this what you have going on right here and this transformation is going to bring that person to you camera is cutting out as usual don't worry about it um yeah so I could not tell you, if you are asking about when is a romantic partner coming, I cannot tell you like specific time. However, I can say that all of this stuff that you're going to do is part of the steps to meet that person. So maybe you're going to start a new project, you're going to maybe start a new job, meet new people, you're going to build up your confidence. You're going to become really popular you're going to have support from people and this person is probably going to be one of those people in that 
um, in that sphere, a uh, circle, <laughs> circle, in that circle, yeah. They might be somebody who's doing similar things to you, or they might be one of your admirers. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then we also have fresh air and authentic truth. I think that you are somebody, um, you're somebody who, who has always valued your freedom and your self-expression really, really highly. And I think that that's why, um, people respect you so much. And your self-expression is very unique and interesting um and it's so interesting because it's like it seems really refined and well thought out like you put a lot of work into it but then at the same time it feels so natural like you were born with you were born with this talent you're born with this aura and it's so it's like enigmatic in a way but it really draws people in. Hmm. Very cool. You're very cool. <laughs> yeah. So maybe you actually might be seeing this person come in like at the end of this year or the beginning of next year in the winter time. If I'm thinking about it, January something like that if you're asking about a person if not you can ignore that that's for that's for the people who are asking about a romantic partner um but regardless if it's a romantic partner or not the people in your life are going to be so impressed by you so proud of you you're really cool i'm hearing like you you might steal people's shine like unintentionally because you're so you're just so radiant and so naturally talented and it's it's kind of a rare thing so whether you are trying to or not i feel like you're not but you might steal people's shine and i think it's if you're asking about a specific person and when things are going to happen with you probably pretty soon from the time that you catch their eye because you're you're very hard to ignore very hard to ignore yeah Mm -mm. this is this is really nice this is you you're very strong you have a very like robust spirit you know like we have the strength card you have you're very strong like you're like a uh, I don't know what this is. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like, it's like the image of like a cannonball, you know? Yeah. Man, I feel bad for your spirit, guys. <laughs> uh, I think you have really like strong will and like, you know what you want to do and you're like, I'm going to go do that and it's going to work. You watch me. Mm -mm. Really like rejuvenating yeah it's great the reason I say I feel bad for them it wasn't a negative thing I just want to clarify that it's just that like I don't think you would be somebody who like listens to instruction that much <laughs> um all right yeah so that's all I have for pile number twos I love you guys. That was great. Um, let me know what you thought, if it resonated or didn't resonate. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye! Hi number threes! Alright, so the energy of this pile is actually quite relaxing. Um, I don't know if that's your energy or um, if you should feel that way or it's okay for you to feel that way but it's a very relaxing energy everything everything is fine everything is okay um maybe the nature of the thing that you're wishing or dreaming about is not really something that it's not like a climb or a hustle or anything like that you know like if you're wishing for love or something versus wishing for like reaching the top of your career the way that you get there is very different you know um and the way that you're going to get to this no matter what you are wishing for even if it is work related um i don't see it being a struggle um and that's largely 
going to be because of your mentality, which I see is very healthy. Um, I see this pile as people having a lot of mental clarity. You might be older, or if you're not older, you're more mature, or you have more mature souls, and you don't feel so panicky to get what you want because you understand that it's already yours and you understand that it's coming to you. You might not even be so concerned with the specifics of when it happens and <laughs> you're just watching this reading for fun or to get a little more details about how it's going to unfold, but like everything is okay. Everything is fine. Maybe you, you've kind of been there, done that with the whole um, grinding to get what you want thing and, and there's a sort of, there's definitely a sort of feeling of like settling down. No matter what you're wishing for, there is this feeling of settling down, like you, you kind of, you kind of know what's up now. You're not so, you're not so freaking out about things. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's look. So we have the world, death, and the page of cups. So the world and death definitely represent to me a sense of completion. So I think that when you were younger or in the past, you had these really big dreams and they did come true and they were awesome and <laughs> everything was great. And now we're kind of looking for something else. We're kind of shifting into a new life and I actually do think a lot of you are probably asking about something related to love or family or like the fulfillment of the heart something like that you're looking for peace you're looking to kind of refresh and relax um and this is kind of the flow of how it's happened like you've you've tasted the good life, you've you've gone on your adventures, um, and something is coming to an end. Like that's coming to an end in your life, um, and it is a little bit. It's bittersweet, you know, but it's something is gonna happen that is really going to mark a new chapter like a definitive new chapter in your life. It almost feels like a graduation of sorts. And maybe this is what you're wishing for. So let's see. In the context of relationships, you could be wishing for a new partner or you could be wishing for a marriage with the partner you're currently with. You could be wishing for children because that is very much a new chapter and it's the end of your life as you know it um, in a good way. <laughs> um, and what else? You might be wishing to quit a job because you feel like it's given you all that it, all that it can give you and that you've experienced everything you can from it. Um, and I'm also getting the feeling that I am saying graduation, which, which does imply moving on to something bigger, but maybe that's not necessarily what you want. You might be willing to downsize what you have going on now in favor of living a more peaceful life and a more emotionally fulfilling life it's like i'm not saying this is you at all but if you think of the same energy as like somebody's worked to the top of their career and they've seen all the sites they've traveled all the places and now they just want to retire and chill by the beach it's that kind of feeling you know maybe it's like I've had my fun partying and hooking up with people and now I want to settle down with one person who makes me happy and it's just easy to be together. It's this kind of feeling of settling down, relaxing and starting something new. It's that kind of feeling. Um, and this is naturally going to happen. I don't see you actively having to make a decision to leave something to get this it's faded it's going to happen to you so old relationships might come to an end or 
if you're in school, like the school ends, <laughs> you know, it ends at a specific time. Or if you're in a job, maybe it ends at a specific time because of a contract or something, something like that. But the ending time is definitive. You may know it already or you may not know it, but I don't really see it near future. I'm thinking like I see maybe three years or several years until you're f this is fully out and this is fully in it might be a few years however i don't think so many of you i don't think the majority of you are too worried about that because even if you don't know like the specific date of the definitive end you do know that it's coming like it's something that just has to come that's the way of life these things end and then there's a new beginning you know um and as much fun as you had here because you did have fun i just think like you're ready for it to be over and you're like there's there's nothing more for me to get here and you might even feel silly still doing what you're doing now like really <laughs> um yeah okay now let's look at the other cards TikTok, right so it's only a matter of time renewal interesting review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts time to move in a new direction yeah so maybe you this is something that you realized pretty recently um that like the what's it called the current chapter of your life is is about to end and that's okay maybe at first it was a little bit scary but i think i definitely feel that if not all of you like big big majority of you have made your peace with that and come to terms with that and i think you're you're gonna embrace the new beginning um i think you kind of want some time to yourself um a lot of you might have been dealing with the same person or people for a very very long time and you love them but it's just time for a break <laughs> it's time for a break um i also think a lot of you guys are gonna be picking up new hobbies yeah there's so many things that you guys are good at that you don't know yet and that's very cool like picking up a new skill or a new interest maybe doing more outdoors type of things and then we have ooh the crumbling what are you clinging on to yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of signs of like new beginnings in this new chapters um we have death we have the crumbling renewal yeah um, I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's gonna come to like a violent or shocking end. It's nothing like, it's not like the tower or something. It's kind of like a gentle, like, don't you think it's time? <laughs> don't you think it's time to move on? Um, and, and you will. And then we also have, listen and you are the universe. Um, I think a lot of people who pick this pile are, like I said, more mature or more advanced souls or you've done a lot of work in this lifetime to be, to have peace of mind no matter what the circumstances in your life are and you're also very good at listening to yourself and you know, you know what you want, not only what you want but you know what you need, you know what's good for you. I think you're somebody who's grateful for everything that's come into their life and because you are somebody I think you are somebody who's a lot of your dreams have come true in the past you know that this is no different what does this say stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desires manifestation a quiet mind and body hears this quickly and clearly this is our request to you listen i really really feel like like there is nothing to worry about most of you are probably already there like you're not worrying about this coming true um if you are worried don't be it is coming um 
It might be moving a little bit slowly, but that is divine timing for you. I feel like it never moves as quickly as we want it to or think it should. Um, but, let me see. I would really recommend, if you can, just spending some time, some quiet time by yourself. <laughs> that might even be your dream <laughs> like I just want to be left alone I just want freedom um yeah but a period of rest is is coming in the sort of far future I'm gonna say it, it's a matter of a couple years there's gonna be an ending to something and then your dream is gonna come true and it's gonna bring you like peace and quiet in your heart It's like, it's like sinking into bubble bath, like, ah, it was a long day of work <laughs> and it's going to feel very um, relieving, like a sense of relief, a sense of accomplishment and gratitude for, for everything that you've experienced. If you're wishing for a partner to come into your life, this would be the one that you settle down with. This would be... The marriage partner and this would be someone who's serious about you and you don't have to try super hard to impress them or anything mm. you're reaching a really good point in your path and you should have a sense of accomplishment and be proud of yourself because this, like, being at peace and really feeling that you have everything you want and that you've, you've accomplished what you needed to accomplish, it's like so many people search for that, like, forever. But because you listen to your inner voice so well and you follow your guidance, I think you're someone who's really good at following your guidance, which uh, un was unlike Pile 2. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think I think everything will work out very naturally for you. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I'm happy for you guys and I feel very calm and relaxed right now. Mm. It's nice. <laughs> All right, so that was pile three. Um, let me know what you guys thought of that, if it resonated or didn't. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hi, number fours. Okay. Let's talk about this pile. <laughs> for, this, for this pile, I felt a message really strongly. And that is that you need to step outside of your comfort zone. Okay? If you want this dream to come true, you're going to have to do some things that make you a little bit scared or uncomfortable. Um, for some of you, I think that you've been wanting to do this and you're ready to do this, but there might be some circumstances that haven't allowed you to. Um, for example, I don't know, like your living situation or maybe you just haven't had the right opportunities to do it. But for some of you... Sorry, my tummy just growled. <laughs> For some of you, you have probably had the opportunity, but you were scared to step out of your comfort zone. And, you know, for some of you, it might be because maybe on some deeper level, you don't really believe that you can do this or that you can have this or, you know, you lack the confidence to go forward and get it. And that is a problem. And I think what you're asking for is really big and really important. And you're meant to get it. But this is this is sort of a test for you. Um, for some of you, this is a test that you have failed <laughs> in past lives. Like, you were given the chance. Like, okay, are you going to go for it? This is what you wanted. And, oh, no, I'm, I'm too scared. Like, like this kind of thing. Um, 
or you lacked the confidence to go forward and get it that's for that's for like maybe half of you i think a lot of you are also like like let's go i'm ready let's get it and you're just waiting for the opportunity to jump on it but regardless it involves leaving your comfort zone for sure and taking some risks but it's not actually a risk because we know that the outcome is going to be positive because this is meant for you like you really got to know that you really got to believe that the thing that you're asking for if you were wondering if it was going to happen the answer is 1 million percent absolutely yes if you go for it yes it is for you it was specifically meant for you and nobody else nobody else well then okay <laughs> all right We have the moon, seven of wands, and the three of pentacles. Mm. So, this has been difficult for you. I feel like this pile has a little bit more um, resistance or like limiting beliefs than the rest of the piles. And like you might have even reached a point where part of you like doesn't even want to entertain the dream anymore because it's like a little bit painful. Always having to like fight for it like this or feel like you're fighting for it or even just fighting with your mind to, to believe that, that this is yours. It's tiring, you know? And... I think it's something that you worry about, but mm, it's like it's like you can't see it that it's being given to you. That's kind of what it feels like. It's just it's just on the other side of that comfort zone. It's right outside, and it's there for you. And I feel like some of you don't really see that. And I know that this sounds like it's a negative reading, but I think this is actually really good because it just it just requires like to open your eyes a little bit more, open your mind a little bit more, or change your mindset because it's right there. Like you don't have to do this. You don't have to do any work to get this it's like being handed to you if i could choose a card for for this pile i would put the four of cups here like where you're just sitting there and wishing for it and the hand is like hello like you know that <laughs> it's it's kind of like that and i think like you're worrying too much about it and you're sort of creating obstacles that maybe aren't really there as for when this is gonna happen you know the answer is as soon as you want like for real <laughs> because whatever you want whether it's a person a situation a job happening i don't know it is looking for you because you're a match you're a match and you're supposed to be together But we can't just give it to you because then you wouldn't learn anything. You need to learn to recognize what is yours, recognize that you deserve things, right? You deserve to have happiness just like everybody else. You really, really deserve these things. And you don't always have to work for what you want. You can just be happy. Like... You don't have to earn all your joy. You don't have to fight so much. And maybe, maybe a lot of this like discomfort, because we were talking about the comfort zone and stuff, maybe a lot of it comes, is from like the discomfort surrounding like doing something for yourself or like being confident or believing believing in yourself believing i think it's it's really hard to believe um 
especially if if you've had like similar dreams in a past life and you didn't get them I feel like you can remember that and it's sort of like compounded if that's the right word every time you come back and you do remember that like in the back of your mind that sort of failure a little bit and I feel I don't know I think if you asked for help you would be surprised how many people want to help you or if you asked for the thing that you want you would be surprised how quickly they're just like yeah sure have it I was like what because you've built it up so much in your head like it's this really huge thing and it is but manifesting huge things and manifesting small things is exactly the same you know and a lot of that feeling of it being big or small easy or hard is is just your perception of it and when you feel like you don't deserve these things or that there's not enough for you your perception of it becomes that it's really big and really like unobtainable um so and also if you're asking about a person you you might be putting them on a pedestal but but they're like on the same level as you. They're like a perfect match to you. You're a lot like you're much more lovely, lovely person than you might think you are. Like you deserve the world. <laughs> yeah. That's really nice. I have like, sorry, I had this, I was quiet for a bit because I had this image of like, I don't know if they were guides or what they were just bringing you like a bunch of like cookies and sweets and cakes and stuff like that. Like they want to spoil you. Like you deserve to be spoiled, you know? You deserve to have this dream and then some. And it's like, whenever you're ready for it, baby, like, come on. Anyway, <laughs> let's keep going. Oh, hmm, 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 look at this. Okay, wait. <laughs> what do you desire? You're already doing it, my friend. <laughs> Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. And also, you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, oh my god, I was literally just talking about this and saying once you do it, it's just gonna happen. They'll rush into your life as if by magic. Look, guys. Yes, sorry about that. Camera cutting off as usual. Yes, you've got to get back out there. I don't know if, if this is something you've tried to get in the past and it didn't work, or you've just tried to make other things happen and they didn't work, but you got to go for it. you you got to have the confidence to do it. We have the Yang card also. This is like the energy that you possess inside of you. You know what I mean? Like you have so much power this like radiant fiery energy this is like creative energy to me you can really create your life and you already are <laughs> i mean i do think that your current situation is a product of your thoughts and the situation that you desire can also be a product of your thoughts and once yeah once you make that switch it's it is gonna feel like magic like everything, like you're gonna have everything. You might go from like nothing to everything really quickly um, and create space. These cards look very similar to me with this, it looks like the sun or like fire coming out of the center. And I was just saying this looks like creative energy. So that's kind of cool. This is the power that you have inside of you to create the life that you want. And you really, really need to get in touch with that ASAP. Like, we are anxious to give you what you want. We want to give you what you want, like yesterday. There is no timeline for this. It's like, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> um, and then we have 
Queen of Air, objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in a situation. So I do think you've been taking this situation very, very seriously, and you need to find some clarity. And when it says realistic here, I think for a lot of people, being realistic means like to lower your expectations a little bit, like you're being too optimistic. But I think for you, it's the other way around. Like your negative thinking is actually unrealistic. Like why wouldn't you have these things that you want? You're like, you're an incredible person. You've, it's not about earning it, but if it were, you have earned it. You know what I mean? There's no reason that anybody looking in from the outside should believe that you can't have this or you don't deserve it. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody could deny you this except for you because you kind of are. But like, wow, that's so interesting to have like so much power and so many blessings there for you. But you just got to take them. You just got to eat the cake. Man, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to tell you guys when. I'm just going to say it's, it's there for you. It's there for you. And you just need to find it. You just need to line up with it. It could be as quick or as long as you want it to be. Yeah. Oh, it's exciting. It's exciting. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> that's it for you guys. Let me know what you thought, if it resonated or didn't. And uh, what do I always say? Oh my gosh. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.